Hello, in this lesson, I'm going to review uh, percentage problems. There are two um, objectives. It's a conversion between percentage, proportion, and ratio, and then solve some basic uh, percentage problems. Before we begin this handout, uh, please view the handout uh, worksheet on conversion between percentage, proportion, and basic ratio form. Uh, for each of the following sentence, we write the sentence by converting the information given to the request form. Let's look over some examples. So in 1999, 35.2% of high school students were taking statistics, convert this sentence to a proportion form. Before we convert it to a sentence form, we need to convert the percentage to a proportion. Now, to convert percentage of proportion, notice the word percent. Percent means per 100. So you can think of 5.2% as 35.2 per 100, right? So you can think of it that way and then become a decimal, which is a proportion, is 0.352. Here, you can use your calculator to assist you in the converting here. So let me show you how it's done. So to, convert, to write a 35.2% as a decimal, you can simply type 35.2 per 100 percent per 100 and enter. Now that it gives you a decimal form, which is 0 0.352. That will be to a proportion. Now, we call the sentence, uh, we word the sentence uh, to use the proportion. Wording here can be a little tricky. When writing a sentence in proportion, always include the word the proportion. Now that was one of the most common mistakes uh, in the handout that I collected last time. So let's do the, uh, let's uh, see how we can word them. So there's two ways to rewrite a sentence. I can say in 1999 the proportion of high school students taking statistics was 0.352 or I can begin the sentence like the proportion of high school, high school students taking statistics in 1999 was 0 0.352 again so make sure to include the word proportion in it now one of the most common mistake that i see in your work is you put it this way you say in 1999 0.352 of high school students were taking statistics what do you mean 0 0.52 of a students of students so students we can one student two student three students we don't say 0 0.352 students so when you have proportion include the word proportion so this is what's the most common mistake that I saw on your work. So be very careful here. Now, another awkward wording that I see is in 1999, 0.352 of high school students taking statistics, and then at the proportion at the end here, it's very awkward. So rewrite it. Once you finish writing them, go back and read it again to see if it makes sense, right? That's example one. Let's do example two. In recent pool of 900 college students, 720 said that they regularly buy coffee on campus. First, I need to convert this to percentage form. Again, I'm looking for percentage. So I want to revise this using percentage. Well, percentage meaning per 100, but right now I don't have per 100. I have the total is right now is 900. That's my end. So uh, our 900, 720 of them, uh, regular buy coffee on campus. So out of 900, meaning over 900, so divided by 900, 720 of them, regular buy coffee. That's why I use the division 720 over 900, which gave me 0 0.8, and then times 100 give me the percentage form. Again, this can be done using your calculator. Let me show you. So we'll have 720 over 900. That is my decimal 0 0.8. If I want to convert this decimal to a percentage, I multiply 100 and attach the percentage symbol back, which is 80%. Right? That's how I got the 80% here. Now, let's reward them again. I want to write it including the word, um, in using the word uh, percentage. So in my sentence, so let's say, uh, in recent poor 900 college students, 80% said that they regularly buy coffee on campus, right? So let's do some practice. In each of following, we write a sentence as indicated, but sure to word the sentence correctly. 
we write so that the sentence contains proportion. Again, I want the proportion meaning that in my when I rewrite my sentence, I want the word proportion in my sentence. Okay, so seventy in two thousand eighteen, seventy nine percent of all airline tickets were purchased online. Now notice that this is a percentage. I want to convert to a proportion, and we call percentage meaning per one hundred. So I can rewrite this as seventy nine per means over one hundred. And they're gonna give me zero point seven nine. That would be a proportion. So now I'm gonna rewrite my sentence. I say in uh, two thousand and eight. I can rewrite it. Two thousand eighteen. I mean the proportion. Again, I want to include the word proportion in my sentence. Proportion of all airline airline. Tickets take airline tickets that purchase a uh, purchase that purchase purchase uh, online was zero point seven nine. Okay, let me the corresponding color uh, zero point seven nine. So again, you can rephrase the sentence, but be careful when you rephrase them. You want to include the word proportion in it. Now let's rewrite the sentence concerning a percentage. In a poll of 500 Californians, 782 said they voted in the last election. Again, in the poll here, the total of uh, 500 people in the poll, and out of 500, 380 said they voted. So 382 out of 500, Per 500, right? Okay, I convert that to a proportion by dividing it. So again, now use your calculator to assess you. 382 over 500, right? 0.764. Now, once I convert that to a, a proportion, now I'm going to convert that to percentage. To percentage, I multiply multiply by a hundred okay so to multiply a hundred i can simply i can just add this multiply a hundred you can also hundred percent hundred percent basically is a one here right so I rewrite it so this becomes 76.4 percent right so the decimal is proportion this is percent now i rewrite it i will say in a poll of uh, 500 californians 76.4% said they voted in the last election. So let's write it in a poll of 500 Californian. And I'm going to write my percent. 76.4% use the symbol percent said they voted in the last election. Okay. And notice that I use the, the percentage in my sentence. Again, I'm gonna read, let's do one more, number three. In 2016, the proportion of Americans who took a bus or train to work at least once a week was 0 0.39. Again, the proportion here, this the 0 0.39 is the proportion. I'm going to first convert that to percentage. And recall, convert proportion to percentage, we multiply by 100%, right? So I would have uh, 0 0.39, the proportion, times 100%, right? Then I would have 39%. So I'll rewrite a sentence. I will say in 2016, 39% of all Americans took a bus to or a train to work at least once a week. So in 2016, I'm gonna write my percentage, 39%, answer the question, right? Of Americans. took a bus or train to
to work at least once a week. Right. Let's look at the second objective. We're going to solve some uh, basic uh, application problems. Now, finding percentage of something is a common thing that we'll do in this class, some common uh, things. So, for example, if I want to find 32% of 250, meaning that I'm going to divide 250 into 100 parts, take 32 parts, right? So, to do that first, I need to convert the percentage to proportion, step one. I convert percentage proportion by 32 over 100, which is going to give me 0 0.32. And then I multiply the total out of, so 0, uh, 0.32 of, of means multiply here. Remember word in this word you in math here, which means to multiply, right? So by multiply uh, the, this one in decimal form, which is proportion form. Multiply, then I have 80, right? 80 will be my final answer. So 32% of 250 is 80. Okay. Let's do another example. So the example here is 27.1% of 940 students uh, probably said that they would like to transfer to UC schools. Again, percentage of something off, again, keyword here. The question asked me how many of the students said they would like to transfer to UC school. The number, you're looking for number of students. Right. So that means in your answer, you're not going to get 0 0.5, you're not going to get uh, 0 point, uh, any like number that's decimal or anything like that. Because students, number of students, you have one student, you have two students, you have 100 students, you're not going to say 0 0.25 students. I see that a lot in your uh, paper, uh, in some of the students' papers. So be careful here. So again, let's recall the off here, it tells me to multiply. But multiply the percentage, I convert the percentage to proportion, which is that to which is decimal form. So again, percent means per 100. So I, I convert that percent by divided by 100. So 200, let me write it. So I can convert that by uh, 27.1 percent per 100 over 100. And that's how you get a 0 0.271 over here. All right. And then multiply that to the total, which is 244.984. Again, we talk about number of students, we can't really say a point is 244.984 students, students as a whole. So I'm going to use our rounding rule. Again, we want to keep our answer to whole number. Whole number meaning I don't have any, one any decimal here. So therefore, I look at the next, uh, the num the, bit, the digit bit uh, after the whole, the whole number, which is a 9. 9 is a number between 5 and 9. So therefore, I add 1 to the previous digit and truncate the rest. So therefore, add 1 to the 4, become 245, I truncate the rest, So which is 245. Now, I answer the question in a complete sentence. I would say 245 students out of the 900 in the poll said that they would like to transfer to UC school. Okay, so watch out step by step that you those examples. Again, let's do some practice here. I'm going to do it by, uh, show you how to do it by calculator. So again, write your work down, but use your calculator to assist your work. So... 5% of something, 5% off 260. This Again, this off here, I'm going to multiply. It tells me I'm going to multiply. But when I multiply, I need the percentage to be in a proportion form or the, in decimal form. Proportion means decimal form. So 5% means 5 over 100. Or you can simply move your decimal left twice. Right? So let me convert step by step. So 5% percent per 100, so 5 over 100, which is 0 0.05. And now I multiplied it to the total, so uh, 0, 260 times 0 0.05, and you, you, they're going to give you a 13. Okay? So the final answer here is 13. So if you want to say 5% of 260 is 13, that's what it means here. Again, same thing for the next one. I convert the um, percentage uh, to proportion by over 100. So 10.2 percent means per 100 again. Okay, and 0 0.102. And now I'm going to multiply to the total. So 1024 times the proportion. 
and that is equal to 104.448. The direction here doesn't tell me to uh, to approximate anything like that, so I'm going to keep the decimal. Okay, and if I want to write a complete sentence for this statement, I will say 10.2 percent of 1024 is 104 and 4.448. Okay, let's do two more. Now, find 13.3 percent of 65, uh, round it to one decimal place. Again, um, percentage finding percentage of a number, I get converted to decimal first or proportion form. So 13. 13.3% per 100, remember that to yourself, okay, that is 0 0.133, and now I multiply to the total, 13 per of 65, so 65 times 0 0.133, and that is equal to 8.6, and let me show you on a, this one on a calculator, okay, I can done all this work in a calculator, let me sure I write it down. Okay, so let me clear. So first thing is I convert 13.3% to a decimal it's per 100 over 100. Okay, and that number I get, I'm going to multiply to 65. So multiply 65. Now notice that my answer is 8.645, but the direction tells me to round it to one decimal place. So meaning I'm going to look at one over. Let me write the whole thing out and around it. Okay, and then I round it. I want one decimal, meaning that I want to look at this one over here. Look one over. The four is a number between zero and and uh, four, so therefore I just truncate it. So this is approximately eight point six, right? And that will be my final answer. Okay. Now let's do uh, one more. Again, I'm gonna. First thing is I'm gonna find 78 percent in this in proportion form. 78 percent in the same thing as 78 over 100. The same thing as 0 0.78 in proportion. Uh, 1995, 1995, 78 percent of that percent of so multiply, and that and use your calculator. That is 0.995 times. 0 0.78 okay that's 1556 and the question asks in round the one decimal place is already in one decimal place so I just write down the answer now when one round in one decimal place the direction say this means do this when is necessary, right? But since my answer is already have one decimal, there's no need for me to do any rounding. Okay, let's look at um, number two. Twenty-two percent of students poll said that they were business majors. If three thousand eight hundred twenty-five students will poll, how many were business major? Round to nearest integer. Write your final answer in a full sentence. Okay. The question asks me to find 22% 20, of 300,825 student rule business major. So again, I'm, I'm finding, I'm looking for a find. I'm finding 22% uh, of 3,825. That just like the problem we just did earlier. Uh, it tells me to multiply, I convert the percentage to decimal. So 22%, meaning per 100, 22 over 100, that's 0 0.22, and then I multiply, right? So now I say uh, 3,825 times 0 0.22, and now you, you just use a calculator. You will get a, let me show you, just show you one more time, 3,825 times uh, 0 0.22, okay? That is 841.5, 841.5. But I think about with we want to run to the nearest integer. Nearest integer meaning no, I don't want any decimal here. So I'm going to round it. 
Okay. Now I'm looking at the one digit over. The five is a number between five and nine inclusive. So I'm gonna add one at one to the one digits and then chunk it, chunk it afterwards. So the whole thing round to eight hundred forty two. Uh, okay. And now I'm gonna answer the question in a complete sentence. So 22% of 3,825 is 842 approximately. So to answer the question, I'll say, question asking me how many were business majors. So I will say in a poll of 3,825 students, 842 students were business majors. So I'll say in a poll, Of three thousand eight hundred twenty-five students, out of that, um, eight hundred forty-two students I'm were a uh, business major. So this complete the sentence. Now let's go to uh, the next page. It's the last page here. So question number three, 200 students were surveyed and asked about what they prefer to eat for lunch. The table below gives the percentage of students given each response. For each response, determine the number of students in a survey who gave the response. Again, so there are 200 people in a survey. My sample said 200. So I'm going to find how many uh, prefer which. So this here can be done using a calculator again. So first thing is I'm going to convert the percentage uh, to decimal form. So 48%, for example, 48 over 100. This is 48 over 100. That is 0 0.48. So you can just convert each one of them into a decimal form. Right? This is 0 0.23. This is 0 0.19. This is 0 0.06, 0 0.04. And then and to convert um, to finding uh, uh, the, the percentage, 48% of 200, let me write it out. You're basically finding uh, find, um, 48% of 200. This is the same problem as we did earlier. I can replace, I'm finding 48% 200, I'm finding 23% 200, finding 19% of 200, etc. So I convert each one to decimal and multiply it. So we already convert that, so I multiply. So I say um, 0.4a here times 200. When I multiply that, you'll get 96. Right? So you're going to do the same thing for each one of those. So this is 96, uh, that is 46, that is 30a, and that is 12. And that is A. We know that a total of 200 students were in the survey. So when you add all this up, this here, the total should be 200. Right? If we don't add up the 200, meaning you might make a mistake somewhere. All right? So now let's uh, do two more problems. I think number uh, three and four and five, that, that was one of the most common missed questions. So the current tuition fee at a certain college is 1,400. Next year, the fee will increase by 3%. How much will the fee increase? Write your final answer in a full sentence. Again, you want to always go back and answer the questions. So current tuition is 1,400, increase 3%. So first, I need to find out how much it increase. Right? Three, increase 3%, 3% of what? Uh, 1,400. So I'm finding 3%, you're looking for 3% uh, of 1,400. So this is the same problem we have, a similar problem like we did before. I convert the percentage uh, to decimal, which is uh, 0 0.03. And then I multiply that to the total, 1,400. You multiply it, I'll get 42. And we talk about money here as a $42. So I say the tuition fee will increase $42 uh, next year. So answer the question, I'll say the tuition 
v will increase by $42 next year. Right. Number five, in a poll of 900 Americans, 87 of them said they would consider themselves vegetarian. What percentage of those polls said they would consider themselves vegetarian? There's a question here. Round your answer to three decimal place in proportion form by your answer in a full sentence. So I'm looking for a, a percentage, but I want a, the answer if, uh, to uh, three decimal place in proportion form. Okay? So I want eight, 87 of them say, 87 out of 900 of them say they would consider themselves vegetarian. So again, per, percent means per 100, but now I'm not per 100 here, I'm per over 900. So 87 over 900. So I'm going to write 87 over 900. I'm going to convert it, divide it, use your calculator. That is 0 0.096 with 6 repeating. Again, the question want me to keep three decimal place. Again, repeating meaning that this means a 0 0.96666, right? So if I want three decimal place, I'm going to look at uh, the four digit. So look at the four digit. Let me highlight it right here. So the four digits is a number uh, between 5 and 9. So I chunk it and add 1 to the previous digit. So it becomes 0 0.967. Okay, that is a proportion form with three decimal place. And if I want to write percentage, right, I can say um, the percentage will be equal to 96.7%. Someone answer the question, I say, In the pool of 900 uh, American adults, uh, I want to, again, the question won't be right proportion, so I'm going to answer the question in proportion. Uh, the proportion of them who consider themselves as vegetarian is uh, 0.097. Okay, so let's write it. So I say in a pool, pool of 900 American adults, The proportion, the, again, I want to include the word proportion in my sentence. Proportion of them, the American adult meaning, who consider themselves, who consider themselves, Vegetarian was um, zero point nine six seven. I write my answer in proportion form. All right. So this completes our lesson on uh, percentage and proportion. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you next time.